Your body is amazing, but sometimes it needs help. All over the UK, there are special teams of professionals trained to tackle medical mysteries. We use our eyes all the time to see the world around us, so when something goes wrong and you can't see properly, it can be quite scary. But don't worry. Whatever your eye issue, there are special types of doctors on hand to help you see more clearly. Chris, I think you'd better find out some more. I'm on it, Zand. I'm in the ophthalmology department, and this is where you'll find ophthalmologists, strabismologists, orthoptists, optometrists, and ophthalmic nurses. Now, you don't have to be able to pronounce all that, but you should know that they all work as a team here, so that if you have a problem with your eyes, they can diagnose it and help to fix it. This is Maureen Mitchell, head orthoptist, and it's her job to help fix people's eyes. Can you explain to me what an orthoptist is? An orthoptist is part of the eye clinic, and orthoptics deals with what we call disorders of binocular vision. And that means, obviously, most of us, our eyes move together and try and create the same picture. But if one eye has a problem with it, mm -hmm. then it won't be seeing the same thing as the other. And that's the whole basis behind it. So a common thing that you might see is a, is a child where one eye is pointing in a different direction to the other, yeah. and rather than have double vision, mm. the brain will just turn off one eye. It does. Your eyes work like a camera. Light passes through the lens to the back of the eye called the retina. But because your lens is curved and light is straight, the image gets turned upside down. It's then transported to your brain through the optic nerve, where it's flipped the right way up again. Your brain combines these signals from each eye together to create a 3D image. But when these signals aren't working properly, you can get what's called a lazy eye. Having a lazy eye is actually really common. Around 1 in 40 children will have one at some point. And the main way of treating a lazy eye is using glasses and sometimes a patch. You put the patch over the good eye, which forces the lazy eye to do a bit more work. Hello, Cassidy. Five-year-old Cassidy has had a lazy eye since she was one. Well done. She's had glasses and patches to treat it and has come in today to see Maureen for a check on her progress. So, should we see how clever this eye is and how clever this one is? Yeah? Can I just put a little cover over one eye just for a minute? Maureen does some quick tests to check if Cassidy is using both her eyes equally. I like your glasses, Cassidy. Can you look hard and tell me what this shape is here? Apple. Clever girl. And what's this one? Spring. Wonderful. Well done! The strength of Cassidy's right eye acts as a guide for Maureen to determine whether her lazy left eye has got any stronger. Oops, an Eliette then. <laughs> so is there a mummy giraffe? Yeah. And is there a baby giraffe? Yeah. And can you see the baby giraffe's eyelashes? Yeah. OK. The difference between the two eyes now is negligible, so Cassidy hasn't got a lazy eye now. She's fine. That's great news. We've seen how orthoptists can use glasses to fix the vision in a lazy eye. But if you have an eye problem, there are loads of other eye specialists out there who can help you too. <coughs>